Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to turn off your dashboard. And so if you don't know what your dashboard is, it's this thing down here where you can like add little widgets to it. You know, you have this little add button, but it's really annoying because sometimes you accidentally swipe into it and I disabled like all of those weird gestures, but you know, it's still there and it's annoying. And so I want to get rid of it and I'm going to teach you how to get rid of this annoying Apple feature. And so to do this, we obviously do it in the terminal. So if I go terminal here and we set it all up, we are going to write a simple command to get rid of this annoying invention by Apple. And what we're going to write is defaults because whenever we change something with our Mac, that is the first thing we write always. And then the second thing, you know, we're changing some things we write, right? And then we space and then we go com.apple.dashboard. Obviously, we're doing something with our dashboard and so we need to access it. Then we're going to do mcx dash disabled space dash boolean space true. And when we hit enter, it will load, do its thing, and then it's come back to us. And what we are going to do is now kill all doc because that's what's going to make it go away. Then we'll exit out of this. And down here, we try to open our dashboard and we cannot open it. It's gone. It's not a real thing. So we can just like remove it from our doc. But you can literally, you can't open the dashboard. This is Xcode, you know, wanting to me to install things. But you know, remind me later. I don't need Xcode right now. Later we make the apps. And so anyways, back to what I was saying. If we go down here, it's never going to open because we disabled it. What if we want it back? You know, we miss the little icons that come, you know, on the screen and annoy us. Like we miss you, like you miss, you know, your annoying cousins or something something like that's what well, that's how we feel about this dashboard thing and so to bring it back you know bring it back to the holidays we are going to write defaults right because again writing something new it's going to be basically the exact same thing here and we're going to do com.apple.dashboard accessing the dashboard in the terminal we're going to do mcx dash disabled we're going to do dash boolean and you guessed it we're going to do false here we're not going to do true we're doing false because we do not want it to be disabled we want our annoying cousin our annoying dashboard back and so we'll hit enter it'll do its thing we'll do kill all doc you know to restart the doc and then we will get out of this per usual and go down here try to open our dashboard and it's back and it takes a second for this to kind of load update but notice everything is good it still knows today is you know way earlier than it really is when you're watching this but you know of course if i want to add things i can still do that this is your dashboard but yeah that's it for this video today i showed you how to disable your dashboard the annoying you know cousin of apple that you know just annoys you because you accidentally use like one of their swipe gestures and you get it and it's annoying. You know, we learned how to take it away to disable it and how to bring it back, you know, when we, we want to see it again. And that's what we did. And we remembered that we had to do kill all doc for it to like sink in. Or if you didn't want to do kill all doc, you of course could like log out, log in again, and you would be all good to go and your doc would be updated and whatever change you made would be, you know, there. So I hope you learned something in this video and I will see you next Thursday. Have a good week. Bye-bye. <laughs>